Hey everyone, and welcome back to Witness Wednesday and our Lenten series of Witness Wednesday. I'm Father John. We've been talking about during the Lenten season the, the, the three disciplines of Lent of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And we, we've said along the way, prayer. Prayer is the raising of the heart and mind to God, right? And it's, it's active and, and, and it has a goal and, and it has an object of desire. And prayer expands the heart's capacity to love, as St. John Vianney says. So our prayer moves us towards a greater communion with God. Fasting gives us a sense of solidarity with, with our, our brothers and sisters who are a little less fortunate than ourselves. And, and also prayer, fasting can also be a trigger to pray. When we fast, especially from food, that, that hunger that we feel is meant to be a, a symbolic of, of that hunger for God. And so it's a trigger then to pray and to, to orient ourselves in the direction of our God. And, and then almsgiving, of course, teaches us something of the nature of detachment, detachment from things of the world. And so, so to attach ourselves to Jesus Christ, to his church, and all of it moves us in the direction of, of getting closer and closer to our God. And here's the interesting piece. If you read in Matthew's Gospel, you know, Matthew, St. Matthew says, Jesus says in St. Matthew's Gospel, whatever you do for the least of my brethren, you do for me. But here's the thing. When we focus on that movement towards God, that when, we, when we orient ourselves to him in that desire for communion, the closer we get to him in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, the greater concern we have for one another, the more we're able to see in our neighbor, the face of Jesus Christ, prayer, fasting, almsgiving, right? In a sense that moves us towards a deeper level of communion with God, also moves us towards a deeper and greater concern for one another, right? So we put the two commandments then together, love God and love neighbor. They go together. Not, one is not pitted above the other, but, but they go hand in hand. So the closer we get to God, the closer, the closer we get to our brothers and sisters, the greater concern we have for one another. We could call that the works of charity, the, the, the corporal works of mercy, right? How have you been able to do that during this Lenten season? How have you had concern for your brothers and sisters, not just those in need, not just those who are less fortunate, but even even the, the ones who, the family members who, who you don't get along with, or the coworker that, that, that sort of annoys you a little bit. Um, you never know who it might be, but I'm sure that there's there's somebody in your life that that you could have a greater concern for. Who is that person? How can you reach out to that person? Maybe you need to pray for that one person. Maybe you need to bring that person to God via the rosary or via the Eucharistic sacrifice. The closer we get to the Lord in our prayer, in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, the greater concern we have for one another. Because the closer we get to God, the more we begin to reflect Him and imitate Him in how we think, speak, and act. Let's bring it all together, that prayer, fasting, and almsgiving isn't just about my own concern and my own salvation, but it also concerns the salvation of others. Certainly my own sal salvation matters, right? All of, all of the salvation of souls matters, but so does the salvation of the souls in need who are out there in our families, in our workplaces, in our cities, our communities, in our schools, they're out there. How can we, as we grow closer to God, have a greater concern for one another? Let that be part of your prayer during this fifth week of the Lenten season. We're almost to Easter. We're getting so close. Show concern for one another. Show your love and your heart for those who are in need. Be mindful of the salvation of souls as we are mindful of our own. And so let us pray this week that we might have that grace whether it's giving drink to the thirsty or clothing the needy or you know, donating food to a food bank, whatever it might be, those corporal works of mercy are, are, are reflective of our own inner heart, 
of our love for God and our love for one another. Show concern for one another. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.